Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross. Uh, today I'm going to be doing the tutorial that you've all been waiting for. It's the uh, double effect with the weapons mask and the twixter effect um, that I showed in my previous video. Um, it's quite an advanced tutorial, so if you're new to Sony Vegas, you know, tr try watch some of my previous videos for the basics first. Um, obviously, people that you know are my subscribers and watch my other videos, um, you should be able to follow me. Um, it is a very hard um, effect to explain. It's not that hard to do it, but it's quite hard to explain. So, you know, I'll try to do it step by step, as you know, as clear as I can. Um, so, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just show you the video that we're going to be doing today. So that's the effect there with the weapons mask and like a twixter slow motion reload, uh, reload should we say. Um, so the way that we're going to do that, first of all, we're just going to jump into Sony Vegas. Um, obviously in the clip there that you, you saw that um, I had a spraying terminal just in a private match. Um, you know, so let's say you get three or four kills there or a quick scope with the intervention. This effect can be done with the intervention and any other gun you want. Um, and then obviously you saw I had a spray in what's the level called fuel and um, so the way that we're going to make those two blend from spray to spray or quick scope to quick scope whatever you're doing is by um, doing like a blue screen effect and um, the way that we do this is I'll now show you uh, the spot where you need to go to on a state so if you come down here um, and you look directly up at the sky and all you need to do is make sure the whole screen is blue um, and then simply just reload your gun and just record that and then you've got that as like stock footage and um, once you've got that clip uh, we'll now go into Vegas and have a look um, so here we go this is the stock clip that I was just talking about the blue screen effect reloading a state um, so we're just going to leave that there for the moment um, and then obviously this is the um, the two clips that we're going to be blending together. So first of all, in fact we will do this first, the weapons mask. What you need to do is go up to on video effects tab, go to chroma key. Uh, you can just drop the blue screen effect on. Um, I've got a preset which, so if you drop the blue screen on and then copy down these values. Obviously you want the color here and these kind of values here. Um, it's different with the intervention and the AK and any gun slightly different because of the camo you're using and uh, the shape of the gun and stuff like that. So the way that we're going to perfect it here in the preview box, you may be able to see that there's a tiny bit of the AK missing. So we need to fill that in. And basically we do this by using the low threshold. So I'm just going to slightly pull this down until we start to see the AK, you know, fully formed with no holes in it. I think just a bit lower down. Let's have a look. Dun, 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 without making any other um, this kind of thing coming at the side here so let's have a look, we're gonna go for right we'll just use the 8.45 so it's just playing about with those settings um, just trying to find you know which works for whatever gun you're using so uh, let's have a look yeah that looks pretty decent um, next step what we're going to do is we're going to transition these two clips um, I think a few of you had a go at it before but obviously struggled because you didn't know really how to blend them in so that's what we're going to be doing um, first of all if you're wanting to do the the twixter effect with the slow motion reload with this clip here that you've got where you're reloading all you need is it basically from the start of the reload here like this so it's basically going to go straight into a reload just and then at the end just leave a few well a second or two where the gun's stationary because we're going to need that to blend into the next clip uh, but what you need to do is press control on your keyboard so like a wiggly line comes up and then use your left mouse key and just pull the video as long as it'll go so that's the length we've got there 
Uh, what we're then going to do is we're going to grab our first clip and put it underneath. Or oh, if I didn't mention already, you need two timelines. You need two, sorry, two video lines. You need the top one here and then one below it. Um, so what we're going to try to do now, uh, this is a bit that's quite hard to explain, but you'll be able to do it when it's physically in front of you, is we're going to match up the points. So you go right to the beginning of the weapons mask there. And what we're going to do is use the arrow keys. Well, that's quite lucky. I've just actually dropped right onto the perfect spot, um, <laughs> which is a quite a coincidence. I'll just move it just to show you. Just So say it was here. Um, you can see in the PV box now that we've got two guns. So what we need to do is on this bottom clip here, the first spray, we need to find the point where we've just um, you know, finished the spray and the gun's gone back to like the stationary position. There. So we're going to use this point here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, the top bar directly level with that. So now if you watch the preview box, you can see a slight change in the gun colour um, because it's on top of it's like a different composition. So that's the point where now if you watch the preview box, you'll start to see the the mask that we've just done start to reload like that. But obviously underneath, you know, you can still see the other gun. That's where if you you're having problems, so it looks pretty shitty like that. Um so we're just gonna leave it there for the moment and then we're gonna work on you know how to get that correct in a moment. Um so the second clip, what we're now gonna do is go to the end here, the last key last keyframe or two of the weapons mask and then what we're going to try to do is we're going to find the point where we're just about to start the next either quick scope or the next spray with the AK whatever you're doing um, so here I've dragged it all the way up um, it's because I was playing with it before that's why it fits so perfect so let's just shrink this video down like that um, we're going to try and find the point so you can just see your gun starting to go into the next kill so you just keep moving it until both guns are lined up so that's the spot on my video um, so that's where I'm going to be wanting to take uh, or should I say leave um, the weapons mask on um, obviously we've got this gap in the middle now um, which is just black which we don't want where it's still reloading so what we're going to do is we're just going to grab the end of this video and pull it to there like that so there's no gap in the middle and obviously if I go here now you know you're going to see two guns and it's like I said it's going to look pretty crap and um, so that's what we're going to do now we're going to work on blending the um, the two scenes into each other kind of <coughs> um, this bit is quite hard to explain it's going to be easy like I say when it's in front of you um, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down on the video effects and go to Gargasian Blur. We're going to grab this one. For the first clip, um, the first clip in terminal, we're going to grab a reset to none and just drag that on there. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're trying to find the point um, on this timeline here where the weapons mask, the top wear, um, starts to reload. So I'm just going to use my arrow keys to go along like this. So I know it's coming up because the gun's gone straight. And you can now see that, that that's the weapons mask on top. So as we're starting to reload now, uh, we're wanting it to go blurry. So we're going to add a keyframe by pressing this plus button here or double tapping on your line. And then all we're going to do is go like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 maybe. 6 keyframes along and add another keyframe. On this keyframe now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, and then we're going to go up to the top and go to medium blur. So now you can see that that the level behind the gun has gone blurry, so you can't really see any details. I seen two guns on the screen. So if I just move the arrow keys back now, let's have a look. So we've just finished our multi spray on that level, and then the level the level goes blurry, and the weapons mask, the top wear starts to reload um, obviously now you can't see the second gun you can see it as a dark shadow but you know it still looks fine it just looks part of the the level there and then we're going to go into the next clip which is fuel as it's still reloading so we're going to kind of need to do the same thing uh, but this time what we're going to do instead um, on the right hand clip here we're going to drag a medium blur straight on 
Um, so the whole clip's gone blurry. Now this time it's kind of like in reverse. What we need to do is find the spot where the top weapon's mask has just finished reloading. So if I just use the arrow keys now. Let's have a look. There. So I'm just going to keep keyframing until the gun is in the stationary position. <coughs> keep going. And it's about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a keyframe here by pressing the plus key and then just go one, two, three, four, five, six, add another keyframe if it wants to do it, which it's not for some reason. I'll just zoom in on this timeline a second. Right, add a keyframe. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this keyframe and click reset to none. So now as the transition happens from blurry going into the second clip what we're going to see is that the level becomes clear there instead of going blurry it's now going to come clear um, and then obviously the weapons mass disappears there and then we're straight into our second spray so that's the basics of it I know it sounds difficult but once you've had a play around just getting the keyframing right using the gagation blur um, you know you're gonna have good success with this I mean I think it looks pretty decent and the feedback that you know you give me guys on the well we'll call it the um, the trail I did for this um, you know a lot of people liked it and wanted to know how to do it um, so you may have the problem that the the top mask gun is now darker than, oh it's actually whiter than the gun there so all it is is basically adding effects to this top wear now to get the gun to match the colour that you're transitioning into. Um, it's very simple. Uh, one of the, the effects I use to do this is adding the levels effect. All you need to do is just grab, well, this, <coughs> this is a custom effect I've got. Just drag and drop that on there. So if we go back a few keyframes, let's have a look. The gun now is darker and it should kind of fit the colour that's going into there. Obviously, I haven't added my normal effects onto this video, so I'd probably, um, I always use the level effects, so I'd be adding that one to both of these. Um, so, the kind of the transitioning colour, you can get, you know, pretty much bang on. I mean, this one here, at full speed, you'd hardly notice the difference. So, if I just use the keyframe now to go across, watch the preview box. It's gone blurry. We're doing the reload here. <coughs> then... Whilst reloading, we've gone into bailout um, fuel, finished the reload, got into nice slow motion, and we're back into the next spray. So, yeah, that's how to do that effect. Any questions or queries, you know, send me a message. Hopefully, I've done that, you know, slow enough. You may have to watch it twice, two or three times, just to get the the grip of it. But once you've got it, you know, you've got it, and you'll you'll be able to have much success with that, especially going into Black Ops, uh, you know, all the different guns on there. Um, so yeah, um, that's it for today guys. If any of you want or need a tutorial on effects you've seen, just send me a message and I'll, you know, I'm more than happy to um, show you or share the information on how to do a specific effect. Um, if you like this video and you found it useful, don't forget to give it the big thumbs up. Um, and that's it for today guys. Cheers.